Corn School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Headline Amp Fungicide and Pride Seed. Bernard Tobin on the Corn School today, catching up with Matt Chappell, market agronomist from Pride. Hey Matt, how's it going? It's going great, Bern. We've got some beautiful weather. This is the weather we've all been asking for. <laughs> you said it. I mean, like speaking of weather, like the last couple of weeks, everybody talked about corn maturity. Whether we're going to get there, um, it looks like we are. Um, a great forecast ahead. But uh, bef with, with some good news, I want to look back on the spring and some of the decisions that were made from a hybrid perspective. Let's start here. When did you plant this? This plot here in Chatham was planted on June 1st, Burn. Normally we'd be rolling in Chatham, Canada on May 1st, so a month behind normal. Yeah, now, uh, typically 3,200. What was your philosophy here? You obviously dialed back some of the hybrid. Yeah, we sure did. Uh, anytime we start getting into Ju June time frame, we really have to think about dropping a couple hundred heat units. Uh, the best philosophy I could have given the growers was, you know what, put some risk on the table, maximize the growing, growing season, maximize that yield potential of those longer day hybrids, but consider dropping maturity. You know, dropping from that 3200 down to that 3000 heat unit hybrid. Yeah, so June 1st, a good decision. Um, obviously we've had a good heat unit accumulation. Whereabouts are you here now in Chatham? Yeah, so since June 1st, we're now accumulated about 2700 heat units. So, you know, not Pretty too good. bad, eh? Mm -hmm. The finish line is, we can see it now. So my sense is you're probably, you've got enough heat, you've been able to catch up, you're probably going to finish that 3,000 and that 3,200 heat unit, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, right now, you know, if we look at saying we need 300 more heat units to get there, yesterday we accumulated 25 heat units. Wow. That's pretty impressive. So maybe two weeks we can get there, and on that 3,200, you know, not even another three weeks and we'll black layer. So how do they compare? How close are they right now? So right now, when we look at the 3200 heat unit hybrid, you know, we're getting well into that uh, three quarter milk line burn. Yep. So that, and then when we look at the 3000 heat unit hybrid, we're down down a little bit less. We're closer to the half milk line stage. So, yep. you know, R5 is the longest growth stage in the corn plant. But when we start getting here, we're, we're getting to the finish line and yep. we're gonna get we're gonna get maximum yield potential now. Awesome. So talk about, I guess, what we learned here, Matt. I mean, obviously not every grower um, across this province is in the same situation. Some guys are still sort of searching for some heat units. You, uh, you took down 200 heat units this spring. It's gonna work out. What are you telling growers, I guess, we can learn from this? Yeah, I think that there's a lot to be learned still when we get to harvest. Uh, we're gonna have to manage our crop. Depending on your acreage, your size of your farm, uh, your ability to dry corn, I do think it was right to maintain maturity and a lot of stuff, but at the same point, I think that had taking some risk off the table, being able to finish out and maybe knocking a couple points of moisture off at harvest is really going to be, be important for dollars and cents at the end of the day. So Matt, you guys are tracking pretty well. It looks like you're going to hit maturity, you're going to hit your yield gold and uh, you know that dry down grain fill. Um, what do you talk about? What do you, what do you tell growers across the province? They're probably not sitting here in Chatham. You know, patience? Yeah, exactly. So we've been paying really close attention to the 4R cast. We're tracking different plots in different regions, whether it's Essex County, up in Middlesex, mm. uh, Park Hill area. Mm. And we're uh, really looking at the hybrids really did get to pollination, the, the half life of a hybrid. Yep. It got there in 60 days. So, you know, I really think 60 days from pollination, we should be black layered. Mm. So August 10th pollination, October 10th black layer. Mm. We're doing pretty good. We're tracking there. I'm really optimistic that we're going to get there before any of that killing frost yeah, right. really throws a wrench in things and we will maximize uh, these kernel counts and keep that test weight up this year. Great. Uh, and as I say, we've, had a, we've got a good forecast. Um, hopefully you get a, a few more days of 25 uh, heat unit accumulations. Oh, and I, that'd be nice. I know everybody would like that. Um, and we'll see where we get to. Hey, thanks for the time. I appreciate it. Always a pleasure, Byrne. Thanks. Good. Good.